What's up, y'all? My name is Philosopher, the Monotone Magic player, and uh, we're back. <laughs> uh, it's been quite a while since my last upload. Uh, I apologize for that, really, and I truly do. But as you can see, I'm in a, I'm in a different room now. Uh, we're in a different apartment, my girlfriend and I. So between the move and between um, work, it's been pretty busy, um, and I just really haven't had time to upload any new content. So I apologize for that. Uh, I do plan on uploading from here on out, so back with arena content, um, unboxing videos like this one, and then um, also some commander stuff. I'm hoping to do some deck techs and stuff like that just to get um, some different content on the channel. Uh, arena is kind of stale for me at the moment, so um, I'm wanting to switch it up just a little bit. But anyways, um, the video that you're here for, right, the content that you're here for is the unboxing video. So. Yeah, Commander Legends is out, which is awesome. Um, I'm super excited for the set. Uh, we got some good pools in the packs that we had, so you'll get to see those. Um, and we are going to be doing a giveaway. So if you are here for the giveaway, here's how to enter. So for the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Um, it can be any comment, but I would like to hear what card you are hoping to pull from the pack that you get. So um is it gonna be you know like the rare jewel lotus is it gonna be a whole breacher if you're like a cedh player or is it maybe just an interesting um legendary creature like jared or something like that something that you're hoping to build around so yeah just uh leave me a comment down below uh like the video subscribe to the channel and you're gonna be entered to win and you will have until um let's see today is the 25th so you will have until the second so wednesday november 2nd is when we're gonna do the uh is where I'm going to decide the winner and then I'll get details from the winner and all that and I'll send them out and uh the people who have won my last ones Tim Bister Matt Moon they got their packs for me um so happy to that y'all won the the giveaways from there and uh I'm looking forward to the winners for this one so um yeah I hope you enjoy the video I'm going to keep the intro nice and short like I said we'll be back with some more content um hopefully in the next couple days and uh yeah, so be on the lookout for that. As well as, one last thing, I do have a series out with Frank from Common Command. I'll leave a, uh, a link to their channel in the description. We're doing a podcast type of deal where we're talking about Commander Legends and our favorite cards and stuff like that. Um, and if you watch my, uh, my arena deck guides, I can talk arena cards for a long, long time. So go check that out. It's a ton of fun. Uh, I really enjoyed recording that with him. Uh, but yeah, it's not on my channel. It's on Frank's channel. Go give him a subscription. Uh, I love all the stuff he does. He does EDH content, uh, gameplay, and stuff like that. So go check that out. But again, uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, good luck in the giveaway for all of those who, uh, who enter the giveaway. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Happy to be back. See y'all. Oh, nice. Um, what am I looking to pull? That is a great question. What am I looking to pull? I'm looking to get um, Abomination of Lanawar which is like not anything too fancy um what else would i like to get i would like to get gen arcanum weaver or arcanum weaver um who else who else was in my like as far as commanders go i do want a staff of domination too because um i've never bought one Because at one point we like we really looked down on combos like that, like just infinites in our play group. So I never bought one because I didn't want to be that guy with my elf deck. But now I think we're at the point where like I don't think anybody would get too upset at me for playing it. All right, um, I'm actually gonna move this over here so that it's kind of out of the way and under the camera. If you don't get that land award, let me know and I'll give you mine when I come down this week. Yeah, uh, Andrew was telling me about that, that we might be able to play some games. Okay, so we've got 24 packs in here, I believe. Um, yeah, let's get going. Okay, pack one. What are we going to get? Okay, and now these are the 20 cards right which is kind of weird like whenever i hold them they feel awkward okay so we're just going to go through the commons and uncommons really really quickly i'm just going to show you all of them so like y'all can see these whenever you go through the video um if you are curious as to what i got uncommons vow of wilderness 
oh sorry wildness nadir's nightblade which this is a great card by the way in the deck that i'm trying to make whenever token control leaves the battlefield each opponent loses one life and you gain one life i like that lore seeker stone okay what's our rare <laughs> Oh my god you can't make this up you cannot make this up y'all saw me open the box i put it here there's no tricks no nothing jeweled lotus in pack one not even just my first box my first pack hell yeah we'll take a jeweled lotus okay we're gonna put that up here we're probably gonna sleeve that immediately um we've got send gear and we've got a chroma as well and then uh we've got a foil rupture spire which is not bad and a spirit so we're gonna go tokens up here um foils down here Let's put all of our commanders up here. Uncommons will be here and then mythics right there. So Jeweled Lotus pack one. Hell yeah, that is a, <laughs> rigged is right. Um, unfortunately, I do already have a foil Akroma from my draft. So that's kind of a feels bad, but uh, at the same time, we definitely take those. So I'm gonna throw that Jeweled Lotus in a sleeve real quick. All right, pack two. And then uh, for the people who are watching on the stream, just watch till the end. We'll do a giveaway with everybody who's in the chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, I'll do a pack giveaway uh, in the comments. So you'll probably have seen that in the intro. All right, all the comments, just got those out of the way. I do like that they have the diamonds in here. I think these are great like budget ramp cards. Okay, Terra for Expanse, I own his judgment, okay. Here's the Uncommons, Angelic Armament, Slaughter the Strong, Victimize, which is a great card. This is what won me in my draft. Blasphemous Act, not bad. Rogue Rock, nice. Roger. Uh, Kanji, I don't like this card. I think flying is really boring. Like, the flying tribal. Maybe just because I played against Azorius Flyers a lot in Arena, and they just pissed me off. Um, hell yeah, Feast of Succession in Foil, Seb McKinnon. Can't go wrong with some Seb McKinnon art. All right, uh, pack two, not as good. I'm happy with the Rogue Rock pool. Um, like I say, Kanji is not that cool in my opinion. Blasphemous Act, it's okay. All right, pack three. All of our commons. Ooh, Finhorn Elves, nice. That will definitely have a home. Okay. Our uncommons, Vow of Torment, Imperius Perfect, nice. Pride of the Perfect, nice. Uh, we've got our first court, Court of Ambition. We've got Zara, Renegade Recruiter, and Amareth the Lustrous. People are saying that this one's really strong. I don't know if I agree with that. Like, only because Kodama the East Tree is just so much better. It does something very similar, but at the same time, it just does it way, way better. Because, like, that one, whenever another permanent enters battlefield under your control, look at the top card of your library. If it shares a card type with that permanent, you may reveal that card and put it into your hand. Three rare pack ain't bad. That is true. But, like, when Kodama the East Tree exists and you just get to put stuff on the battlefield, I feel like it's just so much better. Okay. Commons. Humble Defector. Interpret the Signs. Strength of the Pact. Sweet Gum Recluse. This was uh, the Command Zones preview. Breaches Brazen Plunder. I think Frank from Common Command likes this card. Uh, Kalfenor. Kalfenor. The Last U. I, I'm like a. Uh, I love Tree Folk, so I'll probably do something with that. Slith Ascendant. Don't know what that is. And a copy token. Hey, Keely's home. Hello. <laughs> she she got us food. Everybody in the comments, everybody in chat, say hello, Keely. Okay, all of our commons. Uh, okay, uncommons. Coastline Marauders, Thirst for Knowledge, Armorcraft Judge, Nightshade Harvester, another card I was really looking forward to in a elf deck. Spoilers, maybe, for my next uh, video on YouTube. Then we've got Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist, and Bell Borka, Spectral Sergeant. Um, so, whoops. Yeah, have we not gotten any other mythics? Oh, Akroma's a mythic. Akroma is, is the mythic that we got, I guess. 
Um, I do like our den. I've seen the I've seen the partner combo of our den and uh, and what you call it, Rograk. That seems really really strong. Just being able to put everything on Rograk. Okay, commons. Oops, sorry. Let me go through just so you can see what they are. I won't skip through them that fast. Path of Ancestry is nice. Okay. Furnace Celebration, Warden of Evo's Isle, Grafted War Gear. Whoops. Coercive Recruiter, aka Every Recruiter. If you know, you know. Elena Kessig Trapper, and Belb, or Belby. I don't know how you say her name. Corrupted Observer. A uh, zombie elf, but I will choose to believe that she is an elf first and a zombie second. Um. I do like that card. I like the politics of it. You know, it's not very good. Like, it's, n it's nothing that's going to be breaking the format or anything. But uh, at the beginning of each player's post-combat main phase, that player adds two colorless for each of your opponents who lost life this turn. Seems pretty good. Okay. Commons. Man tower. Okay, nice. Make a stand. Guildless commons. Let me put these up a little bit so you can see them. Dreamstone Hedron. Soulfire Eruption. This is a mythic. Um, I actually talked about this. The video is not out yet. <laughs> so maybe spoilers. I talked about this in Frank's uh, Common Commands video. I do like that card. Kedis. Another card that I enjoy. And Keskit. Not Kedis. Keskit, the Flesh Sculptor. With Lifecrafter's Gift and a Monarch Token. But yeah, I was talking about... Um, that soul fire eruption seems like a really cool card i know it's nine mana and it's never gonna be like that great but uh still i like it okay do 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 thorn of the black rose nice okay intangible virtue i have this in my elf deck currently sunset pyramid noxious dragon soul of eternity power and toughness are each equal to your life total with encore um, a Nara, Wolvid Familiar, Glacian, uh, Power Stone Engineer, and then a Foil Etched Worst Commander in Commander Legends, uh, arguably. In my opinion, this one sucks. Whenever a commander you control attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. <sniffs> Boo. Um, let's put those up there. It'll get its own spot. You can't even see it. Let me move these down a little bit, maybe. Whatever. It'll stay there. You don't need to see that card anyways. It's not that great. Again, like, there's just some, I don't know, the white commanders, I felt like they didn't get anything. Okay. Corpse Churn, I like Corpse Churn a lot. I think that's a really good card. Okay, Prophetic P Prism. All right, Vow of Duty, Stinger Fling Spider, Demonic Lore, Acroma's Will. Uh, so our first Will card from that cycle. Slurk, all ingesting the ooze. Oh, Keleth again, and a Ghastly Demise foil. Man, after that first pack, we have been hitting duds. Absolute duds. Not really happy with this pack, or with the, the packs thus far. I haven't gotten anything that I really, really wanted um, yet. Trove Tracker, Doom Traveler, Charcoal Diamond, the Viserys here was in there. All right, Uncommons. What would top the Lotus for me? A lot of things, honestly. Codex Shredder, Meteoric Mace, Shimmer Mirror, Root Weaver Druid, another card that I wanted to get. So that's pretty cool. Radiant Sarah, Archangel, Captain Vargas Wrath. I'm getting all the angels and a serpent. I'm getting all the angels and pirates. And again, possible spoilers. Um, Tim Bister. Hey, I'm good, man. How are you? Uh, hey, potentially a chance for you to win another pack here. Tim won one of our last giveaways on YouTube, I believe. All right. Uh, I think I skipped what I was saying. I don't like pirates. That was in a video with with a uh, common command. I hate them. I don't think that they're a cool archetype, like at all. <laughs> and I keep getting them. I've gotten I've gotten Zara. I got Vargas. I've got um, uh, breaches. Okay. Pen and Blade, Lightning Raid Crew, Feast of Succession, Jessica's Will, so our, another one. Uh, another Will card, Emoti, Ghost of Ramirez, though. Pietro, another Spirit, and Cage of Hands. Prismatic Piper, we'll set you aside by yourself. Wow. 
Okay. Come on. We're gonna... I think we're close to the second part of the pack. Like, halfway through, maybe? Um, so hopefully we get something a little bit better in these next couple pools. Alright. Ingenuity Engine, Volcanic Dragon, Brass Herald, Mnemonic Deluge. Um, that is the 9 mana cycle for blue. Rayav, Master Smith, another like uh, equipment Voltron type of commander. Essior, Wardwing Familiar, Volcanic Dragon, and a Salamander Warrior. Wow. Okay. Uh, chat and uh, YouTube commenters. I need your energy here. I need your energy. Alright, so uh, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to be giving away one of the packs that are in uh, the box. Because I do want to open up the whole box. There you go. Um, so I'll be going out after we get the, the winners and stuff. I'll go out and get another pack from my LGS. Prince of Meeple, another plug. Um, and then I'll, I'll send that one out after the fact. And the same thing for the YouTube comments. So you won't get anything out of this box. So if you're like, oh, this box, like he didn't open up something good. Maybe I'll get the good card. No, sorry. That's not what's going to happen. Skilled Animator, Sifter Worm, Merchant Raiders, Wheel of Misfortune. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wheel of Misfortune is a really cool card. Loads of text on this thing. Loads of text, but once you figure out how it works, I think it would be pretty cool. God bless. Can I get a uh, hashtag pirate in the ads or like in the comments? You're locked to Scorch Thrash. Again, something I pulled in my draft, unfortunately. Um, so not super happy about that. Oh, let me get Del Pietro out of here and Kelleth. Y'all are not mythics. Put that in the rare pile and a monarch token. <sighs> okay, come on. Give me something good. Again, no Abomination of Llanowar, no Kamal, no Jessica, no Tevish Zat, no Staff of Domination. Um, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I would like at this point. Alright, it's true. Horizon Scholar, Arcane Signet, honestly, always a good card to get. Scaled Behemoth, hey, Rejuvenating Springs, our first, um, like, Commander Land. Hamza, I'm okay with Hamza. Hey, there he is, Gen Arcanum Weaver. Um, Casual Jake was asking me what card I would like to pull. Gen was one of the cards that I would like to pull. I do have a Tuvasa uh, Enchantress deck, and I was looking at... So that was actually the first time I had ever really looked at partner cards because I was like, oh, there's some cool black enchantments that I want to put in. Um, like there was a uh, an Orzov commander deck with enchantments a while back, I think. Um, but uh, I was like, oh, I can't put them in because all the partner commanders are expensive. So uh, this is nice because I get to play with the, with the red and uh, black ones. Always good to open something you're looking for. Always. Commons. Ivy Lane Denizen is slept on. Whenever another green creature enters battlefield under your control, put a 1-1 one -one counter on target creature. I know it's a 4 mana, but that's still really strong. Okay. We've got our uncommons. This isn't Pokemon. I'm not Jake Paul, or whichever Paul brother it was. Reclamation Sage. Magus of the Order, or Magus of the Order. We'll take that. It's not bad. Numa Draga Chieftain, and I see a little something there. Nostro, Voice of the Crags. A little bit lower on the power level. I'm not a fan of Jeskai at all. Um, but I do think I do think Nostro is a really interesting card. Like, even though I don't like it. Nostro sounds like a Pokemon name. True. What would Nostro's evolutions be or pre-evolutions? YouTube, you can get in on this as well if you want to leave a comment with what do you think Nostro evolved from. Or evolves into Nostradamus. Mm -hmm. uh, commons. I'll just like skip past that. Like I didn't say that because that was pretty bad. Um, all right. Open the armory. Mindless automaton. Sandstone oracle. Amphin mutineer. One of the few salamanders in all of Magic. Siani eye of the storm. Yes. There it is. The one and only Abomination of Llanowar. This is the card I wanted. Forceful Denial. Garbage. Get out of here. So, um... 
I'm making a deck tech with Abomination of Land of War. It probably would have been out by now, except for the fact that I can't cut cards from Commander decks ever. So I've been sitting at like 150 cards in the deck, going down to like 140 and then adding something else because I'm like, oh, that would be cool. Nostromon, Nostrochu, Nostrochu, no, oh, Nostrochu. That's probably how you would say it all fast. Okay. Fencing Ace. This is a really cool card. I like this card. A white two mana one one with double strike. It's pretty nice. Burn, uh, Burnish Heart, Confiscate, Plague Reaver. Don't know what that does. Itch, uh, Tekic, Salvage Splicer. I do think I want to make like a Golem something or other. And Brynolin with Mask of Memory as the foil. Okay, let's see. How many packs do we have left? One of so we have seven including this pack so after this we have six more each evolution it adds ahead so okay so then nostro would be the third version like you're saying that there would be a baby version with one and two kind of like a uh, do duo and dodrio or whatever their names are do it is dodrio right or is it dotrio okay first response no caller mask of memory rock shasa debaser miara thorn of the glade that's good that's gonna go in there uh jury master of the review i like her she's pretty cool war room okay so uh, it is a foil rare i don't know if this is the foil rare we wanted that's a nice little foiling on it though as you can see there three mana tap it pay life equal to the number of colors in commander's color identity draw a card well, it doesn't enter tap, so that's good. But I don't know how good that actually is. Let's put that back. Sorry, that's in the foils. And another Prismatic Piper. That's a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You can't all, you can't fit all those in your dual disc. Have you ever like have you seen the videos and stuff talking about how if you like watch old school Yu-Gi-Oh anime that they just like ignore the rules the whole time? I think that's hilarious. Good for mono or two color deck. Um, War Room, that is true. Yeah, the only thing is that it's technically four mana because it's three colorless and then the land. Or so it's not really four mana, but you know, you're giving up a land also by tapping it. It's not just like a activated ability. Fenhorn Elves, Fleshbag Marauder. Okay, Burning Anger. Well, that's actually a pretty good card. Tap it, this creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. That could just kill somebody. Cast down, Imperius, perfect. Court of Bounty, one of the gross, not, I won't say overpowered, but just a strong, strong green card. If you're the Monarch, uh, at your upkeep, you get to put a creature or land card from your hand onto the battlefield. So you have to have it in hand, but still, just a free creature. Prava, nice. I forgot about her, or them, but uh, I do like Prava. Armix, I like Armix. Stone Fury with another Prismatic Piper. All of our Prismatic Pipers were together, I guess. OG Yu-Gi-Oh was goaded. That's one way to say it. <laughs> I activate Pot of Greed. That's not what it does. Or they're like, you can't do that. And he's like, it does what it do, Yu-Gi. Anybody remember how I think that guy's name was Weevil and how he just threw the cards off the boat? Because he was mad. <laughs> I summon Pot of Greed. Uh, okay. Vow of Lightning. I won't pronounce, I won't attempt to pronounce that, but Seb McKinnon, great art again. Frenzied Saddle Brute. Okay. A uh, non foil war room. Falthus, Alharu, Bitter Revelation, and a. Oh, and an Elf Warrior creature token. <laughs> My turn. That's such a classic video. Yeah, like, they don't even do, like, tribute summons or anything like that. Like, they just play stuff from their hand. Okay. Crushing Vines, Doom Traveler, Entourage of Trest, Marble Diamond, Rupture Spiral. All those here. Okay. One, two, three. Wrong turn. Target opponent gains control of target creature. Could be fun. Could be fun to play around. Tormod. I like that. Gilanra, 
collar of foil Viserys here. That's not bad. Viserys here is always a good uh, sack outlet. Okay. I believe we've only got the three left. Wow, this pack went to butt really fast. I'm not going to lie to y'all. It's pretty butt. Okay. Because let's see, even in here, I'm trying not to like mess them up. So we got a Chroma, who's a mythic. I don't think any of these are mythics. They're all just rares, right? Yeah, so, so far we're on a three mythic box, which is... I feel really, really low. Okay, so uh, at the end of these three packs, I will be doing the giveaway for Twitch, uh, for Twitch chat. If you want into that, make sure you're tuned in. Uh, I'll ask you to type something for YouTube. Um, in the intro, I will tell you how to do that. So future me will tell you how to do that. And you will have already heard that. And I'm sure it's just by leaving a comment down below and liking and subscribing, all that stuff. Okay, three. Promise of Tomorrow. I want to make this card work so bad. Whenever a creature you control dies, exile it. At the beginning of each end step, if you control no creatures, sacrifice uh, Promise of Tomorrow and return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield under your control. I kind of want to play that. Not sure if it's going to be good. It probably won't be. Rebek. Oh, there we go. There's a mythic. Jessica, Thrice Reborn. Yeah, we'll take that for sure. There you go. Okay, so that's our third mythic. Peerless Mirror, Golem. Yeah, there's the spice. Future, yeah. Yeah, because I haven't recorded the intro yet. I never record my intros until I'm editing the video. So I always edit them after the content is made. Okay. Two more packs to try to pull something good. I really want a Staff of Domination. I know it's just in the rare slot, but... Supreme Will, Orzov, Advocist, Monstrous Onslaught. I saw the foil, I mean, I saw the, the colorless border and I was like, yes! No, it's just a Horizon Stone. I think this could be pretty cool though, Horizon Stone. Uh, the Dead Tide, Rami. Um, and then we've got Krark, the Thumbless. Mr. Flip the Coins, I'm sorry. Double Krark the Thumbless <laughs> in one pack. What are the odds? What the hell? And then a Prismatic Piper. Also, you know what I just realized? Whoops. Swap, swap those. I put my um my nine mana cards down here. It is yeah, it is double Kark. That's I did not expect that to happen. Uh where's my other rares? My mnemonic deluge and there's another uh nine mana. What was the blue one I thought I got? Or was it a different one? Did I only get one? I thought I got two. No, no, where's the red one? I got a red one, didn't I? Oh, no, I think I might have already, I already put it up there. Okay, so we're on a four mythic pack or four mythic box. All right, last pack and then we'll do the giveaway. And for YouTube, this is this is the last pack for y'all. Okay. All the energy into this pack right here. Prying Eyes, Gollum, Egg, Seraph, Stamina, Commander Sphere. Okay. Scholar of the Ages. Kanji's Lieutenant. Not a fan of that one. Thought Vessel. Something white. Slash the ranks. What the hell? Five mana to destroy all creatures and planeswalkers except for commanders. Malcolm, Keen Eyed Navigator. Ooh! Okay, I like this. I didn't mention her or them. Uh, but I do like this commander. Cascade is just a fun one. It's never going to be that powerful, but I'm a fan. So Averna, the Chaos Bloom, and we've got Tago, Goblin, Weaponsmith, and Foil as well with the Spirit Token. Okay, that was the box. Um, if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope you appreciate, or I hope you like the content. Uh, I appreciate you watching. And uh, like I said, Pat, uh, Future Me, which is past me for y'all since you watched it at the intro, will tell you how to enter the giveaway. I'm sure it's just going to be like the video comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that kind of stuff. So leave me a comment down below and uh, you'll be entered to win a pack. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.